this is right for you. You can buy Lumi keys under two different packages. The Lumi keys launch bundle is a $299 package. It comes with a Lumi key keyboard, a snap cover, and a $50 coupon towards a $75 annual subscription called Lumi Premium or Lumi Complete for songs and lessons. Without the subscription, the lessons and song selections are very limited. There is another bundle called Lumi Studio Edition. With the Studio Edition, it comes with the Roly Studio software. If you're planning to do music editing, that would be the perfect package for you. It also comes with a $50 coupon as well, but it cannot be used towards Lumi Premium subscription. Lumi Key is great, but to truly find out whether it is right for you as a learner, I think you should think about your goal and expectations. Define what type of piano players you want to become. If you're new to piano and you just want to play and enjoy, Lumi Keys is going to be a great platform for you. If you have tried to learn how to play piano by watching YouTube tutorials, the Lumi apps and Lumi Keys is going to give you a completely different learning experience. Lumi apps introduced something called the wait mode. Under the wait mode, the notes will stop and wait for you to catch up. The next key will also be late enough. So you won't need to pause and repeat or to play the video in slow motions like when you're learning through YouTube videos. One fundamental skill in piano is to be able to play music under different keys. Lumi keys let you choose to play in various majors or minors. The keys that make up the scale will also be lightened up accordingly. So this will help you to memorize the key at the same time giving you more accuracy when you practice. For those intermediate player, the same feature is going to be available for chords. Under challenge mode, the weight feature will be disabled. Lumi Apps is going to play along with you by providing all background music, effects, even the vocals. I was hoping that Rolly would consider adding a band mode into the apps. Instead of playing all notes in the background, I wished under challenge mode there was a karaoke type mode that allowed me to play the main notes while the apps provide the background music and the effects. Without Lumi Complete or Lumi Premium subscriptions, I don't seem to find any pop song that I was looking for. Lessons on some classical music are available. To truly enjoy the Lumi experience, I think subscription is necessary in my case. It is going to cost about $75 a year. Lumi Key is extremely portable. It weighs less than 2 pounds and it fits into my backpack with my iPad easily. If you are a frequent traveler with just the headphones on, Lumi Key is going to let you take lessons and practice piano while you're waiting at the airport. All you need is to have both your headphones and Lumi keys connect to the iPad through Bluetooth. The Lumi apps does require an internet connection. I hope Rolly will update the app soon with the offline download feature. Just think of how wonderful it will be if we can practice and take lessons on our flight when we travel. With a beautiful light up keyboard in the dark, I think it is going to make people jealous. 
The same case for many parents. If learning how to play piano is one of the items on your bucket list, you can take lessons and practice with Lumi Keys while you're waiting for your kids to finish their after-school activities. My family does road trips a lot, so we often sit in the car from 2 to 6 hours. In my daughter's case, Lumi Keys is just a great alternative to playing games or watching movies on the iPad. If you are trying to achieve piano playing at certain levels, I want to share my thoughts with you based on my own observations. I think Lumi Keys just cannot be the only practicing platform you have if you are trying to build solid fundamental piano playing skills. You may have seen videos with musicians playing amazing music using Lumi Keys, but I'm just guessing their fundamental skills were not built from the ground up using Lumi Keys and Lumi apps. They have had training elsewhere for years and it helps them to adjust when they play on Lumi Keys. It means to me that Lumi Keys can be helpful with your journey, but it simply cannot replace the traditional training if you want to be technical. Let me show you what I mean and see if you may feel the same. Lumi Key has smaller key size than a full size piano. It is sensitive to how hard I pressed, but I felt that it still takes a lot less effort to press on a key over Lumi than a normal piano. So we may not be building up strength on our fingers enough to be able to transition back to a real piano. Therefore, if you do practice on Lumi Keys, you still need to set aside times to get familiar with a real piano. When you are playing with Lumi apps, the apps blends in background music and effects into your play. It may give you a sense that you are creating great music. But when you move back to a real piano, you may feel that there was something missing. That's another reason why we still need to keep practicing with a real piano. When I was practicing single-handed, Lumi keys were a bit smaller than normal, but I could adopt the new size pretty quickly. There are only 24 keys on a single Lumi key module. To me, it is just not long enough to practice with both hands. There are options to expand and connect at least up to three Lumi keys modules together. Each Lumi keys costs about $300. With a $900 price tag, it may make more sense to get a digital piano at Costco for less. I'm not saying Lumi keys aren't worth the price, but if you're not planning to do music editing, you may be paying a premium for something you don't use. When I was trying both the hands, it didn't feel like the same. I think I may just need to work on it more, or I may need an additional Lumi keys to be more practical. By the way, Lumi keys don't come with a sustain pedal, and I don't know if there are third party components that are compatible with Lumi keys at this moment. By all means, we're not practicing our footwork with Lumi, we just need to be aware of that. My daughter has been taking piano lessons for a year. She engaged with Lumi Keys quickly, and she has been having a lot of fun. But I just don't see her traditional practice can be replaced by the new Lumi format. If we can have both platforms, that is definitely wonderful. 
But if you are trying to set up something at home for your kids to practice after their lesson in the studio, Lumi may not be the best choice to me. I want to bring up one more thing. I think being able to read staff notes is a very important skill that takes a lot of time to develop. Lumi keys do provide the options to play in the traditional staff note format, but Guitar Hero layout was just too fun to play with. My daughter probably will never switch out of that mode. I won't force her to change when she plays, but certainly I think that would be a distraction to her formal training. That's all about what I have to share for now. If you think my video was helpful and you have already given me a like and subscribed, I really appreciate it. One key to be successful with any instrument is just to practice more and more. Good luck to you, and it's about time for me to practice again. See you next time.